Welcome to episode 16 of this Let's Play series. We're only still in the second year and only in the start of the second year. So I'm going to have to let time go forward a little bit at different times, I think, because um, but we're still establishing the fortress. So I'm guessing from a tutorial perspective, we're still foc focusing on specific things. There's still two big things that I want to do fairly early or you know, if, if coming up fairly soon. One of those is to uh, is to break out into this zone here in a secure way. Again, security is so important. Uh, I'm like I'm looking at the area through here as a potential uh, three by three zone. Coming back out this side, coming back in around through here, and then coming so that every, anyone that's going to walk through is going to be walking out through this side. Now, to get the security that we need, I'm going to have to first of all um, block this off. So let's just go and do that. Uh, so we'll just go across to build the constructions and then the wall. And so I'll just do a, a rock wall through there because don't, I don't need that to be very wide. Uh, we've got horn blend, which is nice and close. There's only one of those. There's three mudstone. I'm a bit out of out of out of uh, stone as well. Actually, we're going to have to do more mining, and we've got more mining coming up, but we're not really doing much. So I might actually even get some of my miners to start mining as well in areas that we want them to be mining. So that would then mean um, potentially more of these sorts of areas. It's about above there. If we went up above, this is my big workshop layers. I will need to create a clothing area. So I might do that over this other side. There's nothing down below there. Yep, that's fine. We'll just go and create another zone off this other side. Now, for clothing, uh, if we have a quick look at the actual, what we can do with the workshops, if we go to the clothing and leather, there's actually a few other things that we need to put in before these as well, or with, along with these. Uh, one of them is the, um, is the uh, in the farming area, the farmer is actually one of the crucial elements that we need before we can get to the clothing po point. And so we haven't actually built one of those yet. And I will build one of them up here on this particular level because that will be very, very important. And then the clothing itself is going to be quite an involved area. So we can then get our chains or ropes so we can then start to create traction benches. So I think this is an important one for us to get anyway, to be honest. So let's just go back in and just keep on building these. I'll just make these little four by fours again. Um, I can keep them all together because no one's going to actually want to be I don't think anyone's going to go and secure one of these clothing workshops as, as a workshop that they want. So let's just go and go. Uh, we've got four there. So I'll just try to do it in, in groups of four. So if I just go one, that's going to be another one there. So there'll be a, a workshop in the middle there. Uh, so the three that we're sort of seeing through there will be sort of like, I'll just leave a gap in between each of them. So one, two, three, four. And I'll need, I'll need a farmer. I'm going to need to have like a leather worker at some point along here as well. That's not critical to be in through here, but we'll need a farmer, a loom. Um, what else is there? I've forgotten what else there are. There's not very many of them, but we need five essentially at, at minimum. And um, because we're going to need a couple of clothings because there's a lot of clothes that we have to then go and make for the dwarves. So if we go to clothing and leather back and through here, We've got leather, uh, yeah, loom, clothes. We don't need the dyer, so this is a luxury. So we won't worry about that one, but we do need to have maybe two clothes areas. So we go from, if we go from uh, farmer's workshop through to uh, to the loom, through to clothes, clothes, and then go to leather at the back end, that will, that will sort of work, I think. Uh, so we'll just go across and get one more of these. Okay, so that will be, basically we need to build this this shape and um, I will still actually have storage around the place as well so these will be the the access points in so I'll just create like a lot of access points that come into the actual zone itself actually I'll leave that one there in fact I can sort of get rid of that I think we don't need to be doing this one it does actually doesn't matter it doesn't matter now off to the side here, I'm going to go and have another um, another big storage area. And it's going to be very, very large. So we'll need to have like a lot of storage for clothes and things. And also wouldn't be bad to have like another area underneath potentially, but we don't need to do that one right away. I might even create like another stockpile of different things back off 
behind this this group. If we just go and create another area here. There we are. That'll work. We don't know what we'll do with these just yet. That way, at least I've got my miners doing something while I'm just getting everything else ready. We're still going to need them doing other things as well. But um, I might as well have everyone working while we're, while we're trying to sort of uh, break through into this other zone. So let's just unpause and let them then go and build this, this area through through here. That way I've still I've got the security of this one when I do come out to this area. So I'm just going to go and start to get this one ready. this down as soon as we as soon as we get to this awesome so that's now secure so I can now sort of go and chop through this now before we get there <laughs> just want to make sure that we are secure here because uh, if we go across to the um, if there is anything out in that zone you've yeah, just got different people visiting we've got bull moose that's fine at this stage we're okay so let's go for it now they're all mining of course down below I might make this a priority I might, so I might just go back and prioritize again I can when I after this is done I'll just make this a priority three and just change the mining into here as a priority three they come now with that done I'm now going to make the wood chopping a priority three for this so there's like a big mushroom above them and um, now that it's actually secure I might make a few of these priority threes down here just so we've got wood there's a few different sort of mushrooms and things this fungi wood and then this is tower cap um, so that will be good and, and this is not where I want to actually have things going but uh, we could also, we've got plump helmets in through this side, so we can go and gather plants um, as well, just to get a few of these. Dimple cups I don't care about. That's young fungi wood, I don't need that. Let's go and get that as well. Oops, that didn't actually accept it, I wonder why. So just go and pick these things up urgently. While we can, there's pigtails there as well. Let's go and grab that. Actually, we can't get that. There's cave wheat. Um, more cave wheat there. This is all staples for us. It may be too young. It's, oh, it's dead. That's dead as well. That one's cave wheat, so we can grab that. Sweet pods, we'll grab them as well. It's great seeing the actual, um, what they all look like. It's dead sweet pods. There's sweet pods there. So this will be all a bit of a priority for everyone. Can we get any of those? Now they're all dead. Dead pigtails. That'll do for now. That'll sort of just at least get us started, I think. Those pigtails can be picked up. And as we come back up to here, again, I've just got to be careful that we don't stumble across something nasty. This is a dangerous point. Uh, now, the next thing we want to have is we've still got our dedicated guys for... Uh, only doing these jobs now they're socializing sleeping and sleeping so we'll get them back involved again fairly soon because we do need to now set up a another zone in here where we then start to um, to construct to get everything prepared in through this side so we're just going to go across into the w different walls now one of the troubles we're going to have is above us above us we do have a bit of a problem here I think what we'll do is we'll build a stair a stair up through around here because we're going to need to put a um we're going to need to put a little bit of, of of wall out through this side but then we're going to need to just make sure that we're covered in through this other side as well so let's go across and um this is a vulnerability at this point in time but that's just the way it's got to be so we'll go to constructions and then stairs and we'll just go and build a yeah that's going to that's going to have a um yeah, we're going to have to cover all of this. Can we get up there? 
Yeah, ultimately we can. We'll make that uh, run out of mudstone. Okay, so we'll just make a stair there. That will probably end up being permanent, I would guess. We may be able to take it down in time. We'll see how we go. And we'll just get the walls built as well. Now we don't have much left. We've got nine nice. Let's just use that for a lot of this sort of area. I might just go over the top of that one as well. In the meantime, I'm going to put a wall, another door down in here, just in case there's, if it's nothing that's like a, a troll, then we're going to be okay. So I'll just go and place a door right there. Grabbing the rock, <laughs> the valuable rock that we that we've got. Whoa! What was that? A giant bat. Now that's what the goblins will ride in on, on giant bats. I don't think it'll attack us as such. They're going to go and start constructing. There's the stairs. Don't have the upstairs done just yet. Door is now done. That gives us a bit of security. I'll just pause until all these things are built. Oh, I forgot to build another piece there. So constructions, walls. We've got to make sure that we are fully blocked in here. Granite will do in this case. Good. Get in there. We need someone to come and chop this down for us. Whoa, what the hell was that? Oh, an elk bird. These aren't too much of a problem. Uh, four years old. No items. Of course, it's actually it's got snake helmet snake blood covering it. <laughs> okay, so it's must have wandered through where the snake the helmet snake was fighting, which was back over here somewhere. So anyway, that's uh, interesting. Its health is no health problems. Um, yeah, no, no issues there. Large creature found grazing on mushrooms deep underground. So that's not going to be a, a real issue for us. We can sort of uh, ignore that one, I think. So this is now looking down. This is why we needed to have the staircase. So we, not for that bit, but for... Um, actually, we're going to have to chop that one away as well. Let's just go and ultimately get rid of that. Just so we can walk around the perimeter. I should have built it here, actually. That's now done. Oh, and we now need to chop this one as a matter of... Well, actually, we did give it a matter of priority. They're doing this one. Nice. That's good. Now, so did someone get hurt? Okay, no, it's just someone visiting. Uh, that's all been okay. That's good. Red Zircon. So now we have an area in through here that we now need to get rid of as well. So we need to now just go and place another piece of rock or anything in through, in through there. And we, we need to then also start to fill the um, fill the, the roof over through in through here. This is very, very important. Uh, so that way we've then got the security of this little zone. Now we're also going to go and construct out through here another of the um, another of the constructions, the bridges raising from the south bridge there and we've got granite so look I'll just make this one out of granite although I do have a lot of tower cap logs now so let's just go and make them out of that and I will put a piece of granite in here just to keep it this is all as rock just for the look of it again Sort of working there, they're getting more and more logs now, which is great. Here's the giant bat. Don't 
don't think we'll have any real problems. That's now locked in. That's good. Now, um, the next thing we need to do is to um, is to now we've now got the access point around through here. We just need to put a little bit of flooring across the top here. So just go to constructions and then floor, just to make sure that this is all completely locked in. Um, Again, we've got tower cap really, really close, and fungi wood as well. But we've only got two. We've only got two slots in here that is required anyway. Uh, tower cap is a really good source of wood, actually, for dwarfs. We probably that's probably all we're going to need from this point forward. Um, yeah, I'll make that out of uh, I'll make that out of, out of tower tower cap logs. that's been done so that's now secure all the way through into here and, um, and that's pretty much all we need to do there for now now a monster eradicator should end up sort of wandering around down down below I would have liked a longer area for us to then be able to control we can do is get rid of this thing because that's now dangerous okay well I'll pause again until we sort of got all this stuff inside and we've sort of been been operating so we've now got um, well, we're getting plump helmets back in now for we'll start to sort of pick up all this stuff grab all of the uh, wood bring all that inside uh, in the meantime we are going to be digging our way through here which is nice this is good for so we're getting that under control um, the farming. Let's have a look and see. Yeah, we've got spawn there, which is not, which is good. Nothing in there. We're supposed to be doing quarry bushes, and this one here is uh, sweet pods, but we don't actually have any seeds, so there's nothing growing in those two. I've just got the plump helmets. I might start to build even more. There's mu uh, a muddy sweet pods <laughs> back in through that side, and there's quarry bushes in through there as well. Now this is, uh, we can open this one up. Now that that's sort of all done. And once we've got this established, actually with all those tower logs, I might just get ready for the other part that we now want to go up to as well, up in this other zone. So if we have a look up through here, uh, where is it? it? Comes off this side. So we'll be wanting to have access up into here. Now, what I can do is just start the process of of blocking this off, um, and I can do this from from down below if we wanted to. So I might start to do that. Just have a quick look above. See, okay, that's the above. That's the below. So where we've got like little choke points like this. When I've got like a single choke point that runs through like that, I don't need to worry about it. But when I've got this one in through here, I'm better off to just build that because I can't build diagonally so it's just a bit easier to start in that direction and then just sort of move through and we'll just get tower caps we've got a lot of these uh, we'll get that one built this one's a big long area that sort of then extends out across this area so we can sort of build these if we wanted to as well again I'm going to have space so we'll just go across this way so that's going to go up And we might just go down into here again and just keep on chopping more of these. Now we're still on the number three with all of this stuff, so we'll just go and grab those. This means we're going to have stuff very, very close to where we are. So that's interesting. That's also just one one layer. Oh no, it goes up. It, uh, yeah, no, that's not good. Yeah, no, we don't want to do that. <laughs> You've got to be careful. There's so many different things with the Z layers that you've got to then consider. Now, all we need is just, just keep one opening to sort of get everything sort of working. That's dead pigtails. So what I'm trying to do here is just have a single Z layer, like this layer here, it's got rock above it and rock below it. So it's just a single little layer in through here. And I just want to make sure that we completely block this off. 
Now the easiest way to block this one off can be anywhere really. The easiest one is just through here. Get those in there, that then blocks all of that off all the way down to here. again and then we've got this big open area through here which again I think I'd like to use let's go all so that blocks all of that as long as it's underground uh, as long as we can't see above it we're okay now that that does lead down and so I don't really want to be doing it on two layers so I'm just going to go out to here and we'll just have that one click back into there all right that's uh, we'll just let them sort of now go and build all of this and then once this is built actually we haven't done anything in through here yet that one can be blocked off there Where does it go there I can go either place because it does create like a block on the one above it. Now, this is only one layer above, so we're nev never going to get trees in this layer. But that's okay, because we can always just go back out into the other zones and, and work with those. I've got to look out for uh, any sort of combat that might be going on. This is good. They're going nice and fast through here now. They can move very quickly with, these, uh, with the wood. Might just go and chop down even more. Okay, we're now into early summer. So once we get this, we can, we're then going to have a very secure place for all of our animals. All right, we're back in again. It does take a long time to, to save. Now, if anyone gets stuck in here, it won't really matter because we're going to be mining out to here as well. As soon as this is secure, I've got an alert. There's a human spearman visiting. I might just click through these. That's okay. It's now summer. Wow, we're finding a lot of stuff in here, different diamonds and, and all sorts of different things. So this is going to be good for us in terms of what we can do. Now, she is back in through here. She'll just walk out. He's now done that one. We can then start to look for, um, if, I mean, if one of them does get stuck in here, as I say, it's not a really a terrible thing because um, that will then give us a clue as to whether it's actually all working or not. Going around this way to um, finish these off. That's good. That's good. It's a nice big area. And we can then bring farms down here as well and start to really... You know, really get things working. Still got all this big area through here to build. Now this has been built, so we should actually just go down to the bottom layer. I should actually now start to create um, more of the uh, of the hot zones. Actually, how are we going in here? This is almost done. And um, back down to the very very bottom. I need to make more bedrooms actually. We've got 19 there at the moment. So with this area through here, um, we've now got this one. I'm going to create another one right, right at the very, very top there. Uh, so we'll just go into our areas and through this side, create another lever. And actually, we might just place it there. That, that way we sort of know what we're doing. And this one, I'm going to make this one out of um, micro line, I think. So we end it with a bluey sort of colour. There's no one really hanging around down in, down in here. I thought they would. They're telling poetry and telling stories. I love that it's even showing you what they're what they're thinking. Like this one's coming in for a drink. Now we're down to just three drinks left. Okay, this one here, we're just gonna link this to the lever. Just go to F2 and make it that lever there. There we are. Do it now. That way, if there is a problem outside, we just pull this lever up and we're done. And 
there goes a monster hunter. Just make sure there is no monsters out this way. You have, oh, we do have a troll. Oh, it's down here. We don't, we're, not, we're not connected to this layer. Now there is a um, there is actually a hole that goes down to this layer, but we haven't actually been down there. So um, this may get up onto our level. Like if we have a bit of a look at it, just follow it around for a little while to see where it goes. It's certainly on a mission. Yeah, it's gone off the map. Um, if we go up to our zone where we are on the layers that we're that we're actually working on. Is there anything that we can see about that there's a way down? And I'm looking over through here just to see if there's any sort of clue. And there's not really. So unless we, he suddenly appears on the side, I think we're actually okay. Yeah, this is actually then where the, our fortress is going to then be. Let's just keep this going. See if it's come back into visual range. Nope, that's okay. It's almost done. All of that's done now. And all of that, that's all good. A handful more to do. It's still working out this way, which is great. Oops, they're all coming around to do more. Oh, we've got more bunnies. <laughs> okay. Don't know if we need bunnies, but anyway. Tower caps in field. Just make sure that's actually okay. Resume construction there. Resume construction there. So that's all fine. Alert. What's this one? Oh, a human caravan from uh, Ek. Ekthra threats has, has arrived, so that's good. Head treasurer from has arrived as well. That's interesting. So there will actually be now direct diplomacy with the humans. Um, it's interesting because we're at war with one another group. I thought. Yeah, we need to make the chains again. Let's just get this one done. I, I sort of want to micromanage this a little bit while we're doing this. Lots of bats and things back out through this side. Constructors should be should be on top of this unless they're off sleeping, socialising. Okay, that that's what they're, they're, if they're allowed to attend meetings and socialise. So that's what they're doing. And that's not a bad thing actually. Ultimately, yep. So we've got a few of them there. That's a baby, I think. Just to be a bit careful there. Merchants have arrived and are unloading their goods. They'll get to there. They'll they'll socialise for a little while. That's why we don't want to have a we don't want a bartender because the bartender will then keep them occupied for a, a long period of time. Uh, let's just go back up to here. So they've now come in to hit this side. Um, the humans should actually have more food. Actually, we're getting our drinks back up to now that we've sort of been able to pick apart some of the stuff that's in here. We've been able to sort of get the drinks working a bit better, uh, which is good. I think this is all okay actually. What I'm just going to do is I'm just going to go back into here, move goods to and fro, bins. Now we've got a few finished good bins in through this side, so we'll grab that one. Um, whoops, I keep on doing this. Gem bin we don't want to do. Armor bin, no. No. Finished goods, yes. That's it, okay. Yeah, I thought we had more than that. I 
I mean, we've got the bracelets, but they're they're in the finished good bins, I think. Yeah, we've got a few cages. We do have actually. We need an actual chain. That's what we actually need. It's not just it's not just rope that we require. A mudstone door there. That's okay. There's nothing else there really. Nothing much else for us to sell. That would be good. Oh, there's an elk bird. <laughs> they're um, not a danger to us. Actually, while they're, while they're bringing those in, let's just go back up the top here again. We've still got the stuff left over from the uh, from the elves. Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? It's in around here somewhere. That's now contained. That's contained. This is still not contained. Yeah, they're patrolling that area. Our bins there, that's good. Okay, broker requested. It's conducting a meeting. Actually, we've got diplomacy. We've got the diplomacy meeting first that we have to do. So, the expedition leader, Odom Sisthath, meets with the human head treasurer, Res, uh, Resmi Takduqui. So, T Resmi is then on behalf of the Merchants Guild. Let me extend greetings to your people. There is much to discuss. Okay, so. There's much to share information has now been added to the civilizations and world information. That's good. Now, he's wanting to know what we want. So make requests for next year's caravan and we'll, we'll, charge, we'll charge more for these items. Now, the sorts of things that we want. Um, we don't need a lot, to be honest. Pets. They do have dogs. I wouldn't mind grabbing another couple of dogs, one of each. Cats, we don't really need a lot of. I think we may have two females. I can't remember exactly. Um, now, boars and and um, and ewes, not ewes, um, boars and pigs. We, can we get a pig? There's a black bear. <laughs> we don't want that. Yeah, no, we can't get any actual female pigs but we can get a boar I think I might ask for that and turkeys can we get turkeys yeah they've got turkey hens and turkey gobblers we want those um, so we can start to sort of get some chickens and uh, we will just go with the uh, with the pigs so we should actually be able to request if we can get the oh there's a sow sorry right there so we get both of those as well. These don't require being outside, so these are quite good. The you and ram though can also then create like a. We can use that for creating uh, yarn, so that's actually quite useful as well. So let's go and get a bit of everything in through here, and I might just get another female cat. Actually, I'm not sure what sort of cats we've got. Um, I can always say no when they bring them. That's good. That'll do us. Okay. I don't think there's anything else we really need in here. Uh, it would be nice powders. Actually, gypsum powder would be awesome. Do they have any? No, they don't. No. So nothing we can use other than for, for cooking. So nothing much else really that we need. Um... We're wanting to get instruments, so let's just go and bring these in. I think I'm just going to go to this this area through here as well, and just go and change the custom. And so we didn't actually go with um, finished goods. We've got no goblets there. That's okay. Not sure why it's not bringing the um, the other stuff inside this. This should this one should be grabbing the bits and pieces we had left over through here. Yeah, so that's now. Oh, sorry, we're still doing diplomacy. Um, 
Oh, hang on. So we can make, still make more requests now. We did. We did it. Remember the pets that we did. Please remember. No, it didn't. I'm going to have to go back. In that case, let's have a quick look and see what animals we actually do have. So we've got um, we've got ourselves a female dog there, and we've got one more one more dog in the fortress. Um, must be another female, I'm guessing. And the cats, female and female. So we just need a one male cat. Uh, the dog that's down in through here is another female. So we need a male cat, male dog. That will then do us. Okay, so diplomacy. Uh, we will just go straight back down to pets. So I didn't remember. I right-clicked when I shouldn't have. So we'll just go straight down. We've got a male dog that's going to be required and a male cat. Um, I might get some more female dogs actually as well. They're going to be quite useful. Uh, we can sort of make them into war dogs and things ultimately. The uh, ewe and ram as well. We, we can put them downstairs in the, in the sow and boars. And also, now instead of going for um, hens and roosters, which is sort of like your default go-tos, uh, by going to, and I may have mentioned this before, but by going to turkey hen, turkey gobbler, we end up getting leather from this as well. So we can end up with a not just eggs and um, and and food, we can actually and, and meat, we can actually also then end up with leather. Whereas with the chickens, we just end up with with uh, eggs and food. So no no actual leather there. That's about it, really. I don't think we need to worry about anything else. So that's actually all looking pretty damn good. I think that's all we need to do. The um, the drinks, I think I don't think I'll ask for any of those. Let's just click on done. So that's now going to be priced pretty heavily, but that's fine. Uh, that's going to be very, very valuable. We'll just click on OK, and then we'll start to just go and trade with them. So we'll just go to F2 and uh, go back into the trade. So broker requested a depot. Yep, so he's now he's still in the meeting, but he'll finish that one fairly soon. If we unpause, there he is. He's now coming to trade. Here he is. Okay, so let's just go and start trading here. Now we don't have a hell of a lot of value. We've got a little bit of these left, these thousand dollar ones, or thousand uh, thousand ducats, whatever they're called. Um, we'll have a bit of a look to see what we actually do have. That's actually a fairly big one. I, I might come back for that one. Got a crow, guinea. A, a guinea cock, a kestrel, and just a nickel cage. We don't want that one. Beetroot. I'm going to grab these just so we can get our drinks up a little bit higher. River spirits and beetroot wine. Leave them all alone. We don't need a lot. Got leather as well, which I might go and grab some of this. We did grab some of this once before. The cloth bin is worth 300. We'll grab that. This is only worth 480, and we've got thousands worth of stuff in through here. Cloth bin. But it's not critical anymore. Uh, arrows. Don't need any of that stuff. None of that. Thread. cheeses and stuff we really don't need a lot else really that's only seven um, now the trader loss is 732 so that's a red they're not going to of course do that but is there anything else we want here I might just get the glass because we don't actually have any glass we may need that if someone has a, a strange mood so that's a good one for us to go and grab at that point um, nothing else yeah, you can see the turkey leather water skins and things you know, I might grab these as well because we don't. We're going to need to build them ourselves, like these flasks. These are for when our, we're starting to get a military. They need to have like a backpack as well as the um, as well as a flask, just so they can stay out in the field for a little bit longer. Uh, that's all looking good actually. So we'll just go with this one. It's nine thirty-five. Let's just go and give you give them a granite mug, the jewel encrusted granite mug. Now it's only the small amount of trade prop trade profit in through there. So let's go and load this up a little bit with extra stuff. So they can get even more. So that gives them a fair bit of profit. Let's see if they'll go with that one there. Please understand the journey must be profitable. Uh, please, uh, perhaps you'll consider tossing in a little extra. They want another thousand. Ah, oh, who cares? Yep. 
Now that's too much, but we will drop a few of the other things. It gives them a lot of profit. In that case, what we'll do is we'll go back and grab this rope and the rose gold bars as well. What about that one? Yep, they've gone with that, so that's good. They've taken two good pieces. Uh, we still get to keep all of these little bits and pieces as well, but that's all right, we can trade with them some other time. No one really wants these run-of-the-mill type stuff. They want the, the, Everyone will be wanting the value-added things. So that's actually good. We no longer need the trader to be there. No trader needed. And we can then also just go back into, the, um, into this goods area and just go to our bins and deselect those. That one should be all we need to do. Yeah, there won't be anything else. Yep, good stuff. Okay, that's done. Uh, just let the game open up again. This one does have the granite mechanism, so we can now sort of close this one off. And so we'll start to at least get better farming next season. Oh, we've gone well over time, guys. We have to leave it here. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Um, going well here. I'm just thinking, is there anything else we needed to do? I really wanted to make sure that I was secure up through here. It's just not getting these built. I might just let the game run forward, but I'll finish off here, and then when we come back, hopefully that will all be established, and we can then sort of start to, um, to make better use of what's actually inside. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.